today at the frog racing shop we are installing those uh, Wadi Armor USN mud flap MF32UR so the uh, USN material is more flexible and especially in the cold in the winter uh, the kit comes with uh, four mud flaps, mounting hardware four brackets, the bigger brackets for the rear, the smaller brackets for the front and a set of instructions so we're gonna start with the front, you can do it without removing the wheel. So here we have uh, our 2020 STI. Just turn the wheel in and you can start by removing those three plastic clips. It's just uh, a quarter turn with a Phillips screwdriver and then pop it out. And uh, we're gonna get uh, started with the first mud flap. So here behind the fender liner you have the three clips to put in, one at the top, one in the middle and one here at the bottom. Uh, so the clips at the top are those ones, the one with the S shape and the one at the bottom is a simpler clip like this. So the difference between the front and the rear mud flaps, the front uh, have like a more square shape the uh, rear mud flaps have this cut out in here so here the bracket is going to come you can see to align the holes here like so here's our mud flap they recommend you bend uh, the bracket so that here it will fit towards the back without rubbing against the tire uh, so to try to follow the shape a bit so that it, it's against um, then they give you a spacer like this to make everything look flush. So we're going to put the spacer here and then once you have aligned your holes here, you just put the this clip to hold the mud flap on this end. And uh, here through those three holes, we're going to put three screws here. So those small screws with a washer to hold the mud flap in place. So here you can see we put the three screws in place, they are uh, loose for now, uh, so one at the top, middle, at the bottom here, we have the, uh, the spacer in between and this one uses the longer screw at the bottom. And here we still just have our plastic clip, so now we are just gonna align for the final position of the logo and tighten those three screws and it's done. So for the rear mud flap install, same thing, you can leave the wheel on, I just uh, lifted the rear uh, up to have a little bit more clearance, but uh, you pop here at the bottom this uh, plastic clip and here on your bracket you put this uh, simple U-clip where the screw is going to go to and now you just have to slide this bracket behind here. So you can uh, just pry a bit and put the bracket behind and after that the mud flap is just going to go on. Okay, so here we have the mud flap in place. It's okay, we have the mud flap in place, the bracket is in place, the screw here in the middle in the uh, that goes in the plastic clamp in the back, uh, the bracket there, we slightly bend it on the inside too to have more clearance with the tire, uh, a washer behind the uh, the nut, washer here too, and we just have to tighten everything in place. It's a uh, 11 millimeter here uh, to tighten those two nuts, and uh, that's it. So here is the install with everything uh, tightened up. If you want to uh, properly follow the curvature of the fender here. You might have to slightly bend the bracket to uh, adjust it. Same thing on the inside. You might want to bend the bracket a bit to uh, get the clearance from the wheel. Um, it's uh, really light metal, so it's easy to bend by hand. Also, don't forget to put the uh, bottom clip back in place. So here's the finished product uh, in uh, caliper green, matching the calipers.
Uh, stick a little bit uh, further than stuck on the side, you can see. So, a little bit more body protection as well.